Hey there, Norman here from WoCode, and today we're going to be discussing the Collapsible Text Widget. The Collapsible Text Widget allows you to condense long sections of text down to just a few lines. You can expand the text using the Read More button, which is fully customizable to allow you to use your own text. The widget also has the option to enable an animation, as well as includes control over the animation speed. This allows the text to smoothly open and close with an easing effect, providing more style and elegance to any page. This widget is perfect for adding extra text into a section of a page without compromising on space or the design of the page. So let's go ahead and jump over into the builder here and take a look at how this is set up. Here in the builder, we have our legal firm template. And if we scroll down here to the practice area section, I'd like to add some collapsible text widgets on the right to allow me to display more information regarding each category of law without taking up any additional space on the page. So let's go ahead and open our widgets panel. Let's grab that collapsible text widget and drag and drop it just underneath this header text. And now with our widget open, let's go ahead and take a look at the content panel and see how this widget is set up. Starting from the top, working our way down, the first thing we have here is our unique ID field. You'll use the unique ID if there's gonna be multiple collapsible text widgets on the same page, which for us, there will be, so we're gonna utilize this field, and I'm gonna go ahead and rename this one Family Law to represent the Family Law text. Below that, we have our truncate option. This is where you'll set whether or not the text will be cut off by a specific word count or a specific number of characters. We'll leave this on word. Below that, we have our number of words. This is where you'll set the number of words that are visible before the text is cut off. Likewise, if we switch this to characters, you'll see that this the same concept, except now it'll be cut off by the number of characters instead of words. Below this, we have our ellipsis option. This option controls what's shown at the end of the truncate before the read more button. By default, we have three dots here, which I'm just going to go ahead and change the text color real quick so we can see that a little better. Change this to white. And we'll change the read more button color as well. Change this to something a little bit easier to see also. Okay. So now we can see here that the ellipsis is by default set to three dots, but we can change that to be whatever we want here. Next, we have our read more blocks. This is where you will add the text that will be visible in the widget. You can have a single list item or you can add multiple list items to create an accordion style layout. So if we click add block, we can see here that now we have two collapsible text right on top of each other within the same widget. So we'll go ahead and delete that one. If we open this up and scroll back up, we can see here that we have our text content. And this is where we'll enter our text that will be shown for that read more block in the widget. Below that, we have our animation option. Enabling this will enable that ease in and out effect for when you open and close the read more block. Underneath that, we have our animation duration. This is where you'll set how fast or slow the open and close animation is. And then below this, we have the auto overflow before animation option. As we see here, if we mouse over the question mark icon, it says here that this should be used only if you see small jumping in your animation. So if you open and close your read more text and there's any jumping occurring, you can go ahead and enable this option and it should clear that right up. Below this, we have the read more button label. This allows you to change the text that is shown for the read more button when the text is collapsed. And then lastly, in the content panel, we have the read less button label. This allows you to change the text that's shown for the read less button when the text is expanded. And that's all for the content tab. Now, before we jump into the design tab, I'm going to quickly paste some text into the list item. So if we come up here to the text content, move this over slightly. We'll paste our text in here. 
Now with the text pasted, I only want to have a specific section of the added text be visible while the collapsed text widget is closed. So an easy way to determine exactly how many words I need to be visible to achieve this, we can use a site such as wordcounter.net. Now with this site, we can go back to the editor, we can grab the text from our widget, open word counter, and then paste that text. And now all we have to do is highlight the section of the text that you want to be visible while the widget is closed. So we have this text highlighted and we see up here that this is 53 words. So if we go back into the builder and we change from 40 words to 53, we can see that it's been adjusted and the last two words that are visible are property agreements. So let's go under the word counter and we see here that the last two words in our highlighted text are also property agreement, which means this text is being cut off exactly where we set it. Okay, so with that text added, let's go ahead and jump into the design tab and take a look at how to style this widget. Now here in the design tab, there are quite a few options, but most of which are pretty self-explanatory and are related to the padding of various elements in the widget. However, there were a few key features that I wanted to highlight. The first one being that this widget will automatically inherit the global text stylings for the site. If we open up the design tab and we open up global text in here, the widget will automatically pull in and use the global font family, size, color, format, weight, and line height. For example, if we change the font size from 18 to 30, we can see here that the widget has automatically updated as well to pull in and use that 30 font size. We can set this back to 18. The only exception to this is the read more button. The read more button will not inherit the font color, format, or weight from the global design panel. Also, if the font styling is changed within the collapsible text widgets design tab, then this will override the global text settings and any changes made to the global text will no longer affect the collapsible text widget. For example, we've changed the color of the text to white as well as change the read more to pink. So if we come over to the font color, we can see this is black and if we change this to a gray color, it has no effect on the widget anymore because we've manually overridden that within the widget itself. So now we can close the global design settings and open the widget back up, go back into the design panel and finish styling this widget. Now, I actually like the way that that text looks, and I think it fits the design of the site quite well, but the read more button is definitely got to be fixed. So let's open the button styling panel, and the first thing that we'll notice is this inline button option. If we enable this, it will take the read more button and push it to the end of the text instead of putting it on its own line. The reason we're not seeing that right now is because if we go into the content tab and we open up the list item, and we come down to the property agreements text, we can see just below that there is a line break. But we can mitigate this by simply reducing the word count down to 30, and now we can see that that read more button has been pushed to the end of the text. And if we go back into the design tab, we come to the button styling and we turn this inline button off, it pushes the read more button back into its own line. So with this, let's go down to the button text itself. Let's change this color to something that matches the site a bit better. And then let's give this a bold font format. Perfect. Now we have a read more button that matches the design of the site and is also distinctive enough to differentiate itself from the actual read more text. So users should know that that's a button that can be clicked. If they need a little bit more encouragement, we can give it an underline as well. Now with this, I'm simply gonna go ahead and make two additional copies of this widget for the real estate law and immigration law and add some text into those. And then we'll go ahead and test this widget and see it working in action. Okay, I've gone ahead and added two additional collapsible text widgets to the site for a total of three.
And we can see if we open up each one that each has a different unique ID from one another, which allows us to update and style each one of these widgets independently of each other. So now we can grab our preview URL. And if we scroll down here, we can see our text is collapsed. And if we click the read more button, we have that nice easing effect that opens the widget to show more of our text. And that's it for the collapsible text widget. As you can see, it is a very simple widget, but one that adds a ton of life to a site and is quite useful in many circumstances. That being said, my name is Norman Durkee, and you've been rocking with the best website builder platform on the planet, wocode.com. And until next time, and as always, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to support. We're always here to help.